Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And for this one, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the easiest world boss solos for Thanos using a tier 1 character. And this time we're going to be using Team Loki. And guys, this is one of the oldest teams in Future Fight. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are already aware that Loki can solo this. But I'm doing this one for the people that don't know. And secondly, for the people that do know, but are having a hard time executing it. So we're going to be using Ronin's leadership and we have Red Skull here for the team up. So let me just go ahead and show you guys how my Loki is set up. And then we're just going to head in. So let's do this. Alright guys, so as soon as the match starts, the very first thing he's always going to try to do is snare you. So what you want to do is wait for the snare radar to pop up. And that's when you want to go ahead and tag Loki in because that's going to interrupt the first one. So pop the clones, run away, then pop the shield. If you try to do both of them back to back, he will get you. And yeah, pretty much all you have to do is run away from him, keep a good distance, watch where he is at all times, because if you don't, he will sometimes end up in front of you and just punch you in the face. So if you, like you can see, if you, if you keep a good distance from him, by the time he gets to you, after his initial like stun, you are ready to put your, your guard back up. So even if he gets you like um, debuffed and stunned, you're going to be good by the time he comes to get you. As you can see, like I'm purposely letting him get me and by the time he gets there to do any kind of damage, I already have my shield back up. Okay, maybe I should actually stop playing around now. But yeah guys, as you can see, like this is super, super easy and yeah, foolproof to an extent. And this is why even though my Loki is great and I think Loki is the best starter character and he's so useful, I will most likely never tier 2 him because there's not a thing that at tier 1 he can't do that at tier 2 he will be able to. And that's how... I, I determine which characters I'm going to tier 2. If a character goes from not being able to do a, spe a specific thing and then oh, they're getting their tier 2 allows them to do that thing, then for me that tier 2 is worth it. But as it stands, there's not a damn thing in this game that Loki can't do that giving him his tier 2 would make him or her able to do. And that's why I recommend uh, my healing ISO set if you're really new to the game for Loki. Because even with me in here just playing around, <laughs> I, I'm still back to full health. And he's just about to die. And there you have it guys, a fairly easy solo. And guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.